Okay, I'm using a new camcorder instead of my iPhone because my iPhone keeps dying on me every time I record one minute and I'm out of room. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while. Um, I'm going to take an HIV test. Um, I chose to do OraQuick, which is one that you can buy online and they'll send it to your house and you can get your results um, right at home just like you would a pregnancy test. You don't have to send it off anywhere. Um, I'm not being paid by them. I just found this to be the easiest. So I couldn't find this locally anywhere. I went to Walgreens, CVS, I think I called two different CVS's in town and they all said they normally have it but they didn't have it. So I don't know if they really actually typically have it but they didn't have it. So I just went home and ordered it. And I ordered, it was about $40 and it came about, uh, it was about five days later but they really said that it was gonna come much later than it did. It didn't come with any instructions. So whoever mailed it to me, it was like through Amazon. It was like it came from somebody's house. I think like they bought these and they resold them or something, I'm not sure, but it's never been open. So um, I read, I did all the instructions. I looked at them all online. There's a video you can watch online and it, it's really, really easy. So um, this, although I am undetectable, it should still come up positive because I have the antibody in my body. So that's all it's looking for is the antibody. It's not looking for the HIV virus. Um, it's about a 20 minute test, but, and there's no blood involved. This just is just this thing I swab in my mouth. Um, so basically you get this thing and you open it up, they say to pop it open like that. Don't twist it. There's liquid inside. Don't drink it. They actually recommend not drinking it. It's funny, would somebody really think to drink this? Um, and you take this little stick here and swab the upper part of your mouth and the bottom part. I have to say, I'm like really nervous to see that line. I don't know why, because I feel like it's not in me and I feel like it's, it's going to be weird to see it come up positive because I don't feel like I have it, but I know I do. Um, okay, so anyways, here's the, uh, the mouth part. Uh, put it in here. I'm nervous. It's weird. Okay, uh, a lot of heart. On your gums. Okay. Got lipstick all over it too. That doesn't matter. Okay, then you put it in here. It says to let it sit for like 20 minutes, so they say set your alarm. And uh, what they recommend while you do this is to um, <laughs> sit back and read the instruction manual. They've got the guy sitting on a couch like with his legs crossed, laying back on this couch, waiting for his 20 minutes to be up. And it's so funny because like, really? You're waiting to find out if you have HIV. Who's going to be laying on their couch just, oh, I need to be over here. Who needs to be, or who would just be laying on their couch just chilling out like reading a, a instruction manual or finding out what their life might be like after they have it. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is behind it, but I'm sure, I mean, I already know the results, but I'm sure if I didn't and I was waiting, I would feel like really anxious. I, don't, I wouldn't be calm enough to uh, do that. Okay, I'm setting my alarm or my timer, but I think um, this will come up faster than 20 minutes. So positive is um, two lines or even just a, a slight faint second line. So the top line is the control line. Everybody gets the control line, no matter what. If you're negative, you won't see anything in the second line. I'm so nervous. I don't know why. So the liquid is creeping up the test strip right now. And um, just, it's starting to go up. I just wonder if it will be a line like right away or if it's gonna take a while. In fact, if it seems like nothing's happening, I'll stop this and then come back so I'm not sitting here for 20 minutes looking at a stick and uh, it's not like I can make this up because it's not like anybody else in my house or anyone near me could make a positive on this except for me so um, I, at, at least it's not a pregnancy test I know this won't be positive <laughs> yay I don't need any more kids I was fixed a long time ago so I don't have to worry about that um, they say to sit it down but okay I'm just gonna sit it right here I just don't want it to fall over and the in the real kit that you get, it gives you like this plastic box that you get to like set the test in and while you wait for the results. So um, still, you know, it's still going up. But it's immediate. You don't have to wait. I think there's another one that you can uh, mail in and I thought that's stressful. That's like, you know, having to wait, you know, I don't even know, five days or how long or long it takes to get to the person, maybe two days, but that's really stressful. I think this is... Um, probably stressful enough and it would have been nice if it could have been just picked up at my local pharmacy or you know drugstore and then brought home and done immediately but I did have to wait five days for it which kind of sucked um uh, it's going it's going it's starting to climb up 
Okay, once it gets to the T part, I'll turn it around and we'll see if it just turns, if the line turns red right away. Um, yeah, there's lots of companies that do this, I think, or maybe not lots. I, I know of three. And, you know, there's probably one that you can do the blood also. <laughs> Here it goes. I don't know why I feel nervous. It's weird. So again, it's not testing for HIV. It's just testing for the antibody. So if you had the chicken pox when you were a kid, if you took a test for chicken pox, um, you would still have the antibody in you. So it's because your body fought it off at some point. And um, that's the same for HIV. So although I am undetectable, um, my viral load is like minuscule. It still should show up um, positive for HIV. And you know, when I tested for it, I really didn't, um, when I was sick, um, wasn't expecting HIV. In fact, it, it, like, he asked if he could test for it, and I said yes, and I never thought about it again. So when I got the results, it wasn't like I was sitting on the edge of my seat waiting to see if I was positive for HIV. I never even thought twice about um, that test after he took it, because I didn't think that's what I had. I just didn't, I thought it was gonna be like something like meningitis, or yeah, I just didn't, didn't expect that at all. <sighs> It's like, it's all kind of right underneath the T. Okay. It's not like I'm getting anything new. I already know I have it. I just don't know why it feels weird to see it on a test. Like, even though I get blood results that say, you know, well, actually they say now that they can't find it because I am undetectable. But before that, you know, they obviously found it. Okay, so it's just moving up the stick. It looks like that. Ooh, there we go. And the first line would be, is that starting to show a positive? Sorry, I'm trying to do this all, there we go, backwards. And you can watch with me, see what happens. <laughs> Nothing yet. That would be crazy. What if it came out negative? That'd be insane. That wouldn't make sense. There'd be something wrong with the test. <laughs> I demand my money back. Okay, so the control line is ooh, blurry. It should autofocus. The control line should be coming up soon. I think it's focusing on me now. Let's get it to focus right on the test. Um, okay, so, so far it's been five minutes. And, okay, there's the control line. You definitely see that. Holy smokes, that's so weird. I thought the, um, I thought the positive would show up like immediately. It's not, I don't think. Okay, that's weird. All right. Okay, I'm gonna look at this up close. Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a second and see if um, something comes up in the next 15 minutes and I'll be back because there's no point in just sitting here and staring at a stick. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I turned it off and then just like walked over I can totally see it now. There's, oh, there it is. There's definitely a line. If that's zoomed in enough, if you can see it, it's definitely a faint line coming up. This is after 11 minutes. So it took that long, but it's, there's a little faint line there and I'm sure within the next, um, probably we have, it's, 11 minutes and, 20, and 30 seconds right now, so it's about another eight and a half minutes until it's 20 minutes are up. That line will probably be very, very strong. I want, oh, actually, like, I wonder if it'll be faint or if it'll be strong, but I'm so blind. There's a line. There definitely is. Wow. It's crazy. And see that? Okay. You guys are tired of seeing the line. Okay, I'll come back when the line is maybe more more strong but it's there test works if you wait too long after the 20 minutes i think the instructions said the the result can be um 
not at, um, correct because I don't know what happens after you know it's been sitting in the solution too long but it might make the line come up when it wasn't actually a positive so that was something else oh and don't eat 30 minutes before you take the test you have to wait um, you have to wait 30 minutes after you eat before you take it so it's coming up stronger and stronger but not as strong as the control line but I think it will so anyways that's how you take um, an HIV at home test again it's like $40 and um, or quick didn't pay me to do this. I just wanted to do it just to show people how easy it is. And um, yeah, I hadn't done it myself. This is kind of it's really interesting to see how it works. I've done pregnancy tests, but never an HIV, and it works basically the same way. So okay, I think that's it. You can definitely see it. Oops, there we go. Very faint. All right, so if you have any questions, uh, comment below, and um, I'll do my best to answer them again. I am not a doctor, I'm not, um, and I don't know everything there is to know about HIV. I know a lot. Um, I'm always surprised at how much I do know for the general public that don't know so much. People don't understand that I wouldn't have known had I not gotten it. I, there's so much I wouldn't have known. So, but I, um, I know... Uh, plenty now because it's in me and that's typically what happens when somebody gets HIV they become very educated on it because it's something they need to be educated on and it's in their body now and they need to go get blood work every you know six months right now I'm at three months but it'll change it'll probably go to six months eventually and um, yeah we're, we're pretty in tune with our bodies and we're um, people that are on HIV and taking medication, you know, and they're seeing their doctor regularly, we sometimes can be in better medical condition than people that um, don't have a, this condition. Not that you want HIV. I, my doctor and I were talking about that fine line about, you know, I don't want to glorify it in any way and make it seem like it's something you want. Of course you don't want it. It's a virus. Why would anybody want to have a virus in their body, especially one that affects their immune system? But, you know, my God, if you are going to have it, and it happened to you and you have it, it's definitely not the end of the world. And I'm super glad for people that find my video and know that um, they have a, a lot of relief after they see somebody that's got it and is living a totally normal life and feeling fine. There it is, that damn HIV, there it is. I don't know, I embrace it for whatever reason because it doesn't affect me anymore, so it's like whatever. But there it is. You little shit. I knew you were in there. Okay. <laughs> if you have any questions, right below. I never know how to sign off. Okay, bye.